this Professor Stahl, he was saying that his experience is that everything is changing and temporary. So therefore he was thinking that every that is the nature of all things, that they are temporary. Temporary, this is that all. The, why this temporary word has come into existence? Unless there is the opposite, eternal. Why do you use this word, temporary? The, when you say it is fraud, and there must be something as honest. Otherwise, why this fraud has come? We say this is light means there is something as darkness. This is relative world. The Professor Einstein said relativity. This is relative. As soon as there is darkness, there must be light. Otherwise, how you understand light and darkness? So unless there is eternity, how do you bring this word temporary? What is their answer? They have no answer. Unless there is father, there is no meaning of the word son. Unless there is husband, there is no meaning of the word wife. This is the relative word. And there accepting this relativity. Now how they can deny? As soon as you temporary, you must accept there is eternity. We were telling him that although everything is changing, he was still existing. Yeah. Now existing, but why you are in change? That is the question. Yes. I am existing, that we say, but we are trying to solve the problem of changing. And this changing is not very happy to die and again accept another body and remain to in the womb of the mother to develop that body in a airtight condition. So why these Buddhist person do not take it as very miserable? And with the risk of being killed by the mother. Nowadays, they are abortion and killing. So, is it very nice life that you die and you enter into the mother's home to develop another body, and that also not secure? Is that very nice life? I read many articles on this subject matter and prove them that we are all fools. The main our problem they have left us. The main problem. <laughs> yes. And Krishna says therefore, these are your real problem. Janma Mittu Jarabhyadi Dukha Dushana Darshan. If you are intelligent, then you should keep always in your front these problems. They think that we're avoiding the real problem. Huh? They think that we're avoiding the real problems because we're not doing business. We are not doing business? <laughs> we are doing the best business. <laughs> you are working hard day and night. And without working, we are living comfortably. We cannot dream of it. Is there an enemy that these people, without doing anything, they are living so comfortably? And we are working so hard day and night. We have scheduled uh, some meetings with many professors there from this Graduate Theological Union and other places. Mm. Dr. Judah will be there yeah. and some of his associates. Dr. Judah 
You wanted to see me earlier, no? Yes, he'll be coming here probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. He's just uh, coming from Boston. They had a big uh, library convention there for the theological schools in the United States. Mm. So he had to go to speak at that, and then he'll be coming back. Did he speak anything about Hare Krishna? He's always speaking about this <laughs> Hare Krishna movement. He gave one lecture just about two weeks ago. It was very, very nice. I attended and he, I was also no, speaking he, something. He's serious yes. about studying this. That is nice. Anyone who is serious, he will appreciate it. That any intelligent person who hears this philosophy and reads your books, he'll have to accept. Yes. No one can even challenge. They are giving standing order, they understand that it is worth living. Yes. That's sick. Bhajan, what is that? Yogi Bhajan. Uh -huh. yeah. He came to invite me. Really? In Hawaii? Uh, yes. He came to our temple a few nights ago. Uh -huh. Also, our team. He has a big following. So he came to invite me. I indirectly refused. Yeah. He has a very big following all over this country. But they have no books. Actually, they read our books, Srila Prabhupada. We were speaking at this one yoga center, yeah. and they say that they go to their Swami to learn exercises, but for knowledge, they must read the books by your divine grace. Yes, even uh, he has recommended. Yeah. Uh, Mahesh Jyot. Really? To yes. that boy? Yes, you know, yeah. he's secretary. He, when he asked him that, I want real spiritual life, <laughs> he said, then go to Krishna. Yeah. They have started a university also, and they're using your books at that university. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maharishi. Yeah, Maharishi, they're reading Bhagavad Gita. Now Maharishi has got respect for me. Yeah. Uh, even this, what is that, Chintamani? Chinmayananda. Chinmaya. Uh, he also. Chinmayananda? No, no, he has... Chinmaya. Sri Chinmay. Sri Chinmay. Uh. From uh, Bombay? No, no. He has also. He has also. <laughs> he has given us a certificate. Whatever yeah. I wrote, he has signed it. Everyone has the respect. But the, they do not go together. They different. Their practice and our practice, they do not mix. No, no. Our practice, then they are defeated. That hard they know. What is that value? And push on, he'll come victorious everywhere. If you remain seriously in Krishna consciousness, then these people will have no, I mean to say, right to come with you. Then they went far alone.